Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to a new Nerf Attachments review. This is for the stock and barrel blaster attachments that come with the Mediator. Now later on in the video you will get a better look at these attachments on the Mediator blaster itself. But for now we're going to do what we traditionally do when we look at attachments and get a look at them on their own. So these two are some of the best attachments Nerf has ever made. They both look amazing. But I do have a gripe with the barrel, and that is I think it only looks good with the mediator because of its length and the fact that it's not very tall. It kind of works with only a few blasters, and again I do believe the mediator is the only one it really does look good with. So since we're talking about the barrel, let's start with that. So this is, again, very lengthy, very odd looking, but very cool looking at the same time. This is a three round shotgun blaster, which I think is quite cool. Three darts are inserted here at the front, and this is the pump handle. Now this works as an air tank instead of it being a spring compared to something like the front gun from the long shot. This handle is pumped six times, and this button here acts as the trigger. Again, later on when we put these on the mediator, I will demonstrate that later on because I only have one hand available. So whilst that is a very interesting idea, it is also something to not really worry about. If you pump more than six times, you're not going to build up too much pressure or anything like that. You could keep pumping, but you're not going to get anywhere with the pumping. So that's nothing to really worry about. So with that, it's a bit interesting having to use this as a um, underbarrel blaster. Or you could flip it over, press this button here, and turn the barrel into a handle. Yeah, look at that. So you can actually hold this handle piece and pump this with your offhand. And this won't like snap forward. I've done this test a few times and it's actually very sturdy. You definitely get that sort of feeling where you're like, oh, it's going to break, but it doesn't. And I think that's very well done on Nerf's side. So again, pressing this button here is what allows you to move the barrel back into position. So if I were to pick this up now, if we swap hands. There we go. So if you look down the barrel there, you can see... That it is a full barrel, you can see all the way through it, which is very good. If I were to move this all the way back up, or even just a little bit, you can no longer see through it. If you are going to use this as an actual barrel attachment, you need to make sure that this front piece is all the way forward and you can see through it. Doing this is a nice test to make sure you can see all the way through. And there is a bit of a gap, as you can see along here, where this barrel stops and this barrel kind of continues. That's just to let this move, and even when you're firing through this, there's no stoppages or any sort of malfunctions to speak of. It does its job really well, and it looks pretty good as well. So again, we'll get a better look at this on the Mediator later on. But now it's time to look at the stock, because this is by far one of the best stocks Nerf has ever made. So this is very lengthy. This is by far one of the longest stocks Nerf has ever made. And I am very happy with that because a lot of the stocks are much smaller. And of course this is catered towards uh, younger people, kids in particular. But there are older nerfers out there, like myself for example, who's a much bigger person. I would love to be able to use something like this. And thankfully I can because a lot of the blasters that I have take stocks. Uh, the Regulator in particular is a blaster I think looks really good with this stock. And I've kind of fallen in love with that sort of combo and I'm working around that. But yeah, it's very rigid, it's very comfortable as well. These two grey pads here on the back are kind of like um, a rubber or silicon material. It's not the same solid plastic as the rest of the stock is. And that's a good thing because this does not look comfortable on its own. But because this is much softer, it can sit comfortably in your shoulder. It's very tall as well, so when I go to put it in my shoulder, as you'll see later on, it will kind of look and kind of fit a bit weird. But again, it's comfortable and it works very fine. There is a sling attachment point down here if you really wanted to put a sling on this for your blaster. And yeah, I think just all in all, this shape looks really good. The cheek piece as well is very nice. There's no sort of scratchy feeling on your cheek when you go to use it. There's two darts, or the two dot holders down here. And you're probably thinking, why is that? That is because there is a blaster held in here. Again, you'll get a better look at this. In a moment, I'm doing this one-handed, but yeah, you get a two-shot blaster with this stock. It is hammer action, as you can see here. And I always have a bit of a problem when coming to priming this, because I'm not used to this at all. This is my first hammer action blaster, and yeah. 
Works very good. This has the smart AR system, so it won't fire both of them at a time. But if you have one of the barrels loaded, it will know which one is loaded. A tactical rail on the top of the blaster, because why not? And looking down the side of it, you can see this little sticky outy thing and this little sticky outy thing. That is because when you're going to put it back in, it will fit into these rails in there and it will sit firmly in place. It's probably going to be a little bit difficult for me to do it one handed, so I'm not going to do that now. On the other side, if you really wanted to, and I like that this is a thing, but I don't see any sort of use for this ever in the future, there is a little clip here. You could use this as a holster if you really wanted. That is a beautiful touch, and it's nice that it's there, and not many people are going to use it, but again, that is actually quite genius, and I love it so much. So yes, the stock and the barrel are two incredible attachments. And it is a shame that you have to buy these individually because prices for these, especially if they're new in box, can go really high. And whilst I definitely see myself paying a little bit more than what I wanted for each of these, I for one still think these are worthy purchases. If you have one, then treasure it because these are cool. If you don't have one, keep an eye out because somebody might be able to sell them for a bargain of a price. So yes, let's us have a look at this on the Mediator. So here they are on the Modulus Mediator, and these look very good, especially with this blaster. Of course, this is how it's supposed to be kind of set up, but as mentioned in my review video about the blaster itself, it's a shame that all three of these units are sold individually. However, it is, again, I still believe a worthy purchase. If I get this in my shoulder, it definitely looks the part. It's very lengthy, and I love that. I think the length of the attachments kind of makes up for how small and compact this blaster is. And yeah, it's really good. So, let me quickly demonstrate how this blaster can be taken out and put back in. It is a bit difficult to try and pull out because there was that point where it stops, as you just saw there. And even getting it back in, you're going to have to aim it quite perfectly, and then you can slide it in. It's not too difficult, and after finding the position, just rumbling it in there, you will be able to get it in nice and easy. Uh, we'll fire it off one more time, so hammer action, just uh, where can we point so you can see it, uh, we'll go down there, there we go, oh, I didn't go down too many stairs, oh, another dark, may as well fire the odd one, come on then, and there we go, yeah, not a bad blaster, and the stock itself again, good stuff, so now we only have one shot, because remember this is a shotgun, all three darts will be fired at the same time, one, oh, without taking it off, three, four, five, six so each of those pumps really has a bit of pressure to them and you really need to put some effort in to actually fire them so if i take this off because i want to be able to focus this properly i want to make sure you can see them firing so yeah that's the trigger that little button there ready three two one Whoa. that's quite powerful isn't it yeah i think that is a good thing and if that was a spring i don't think that would have been that powerful especially for launching all three at the same time but yeah, I think that's a good attachment nonetheless. And all in all, as a package, this is quite spectacular. It's a very cool collection of Nerf products. Again, as I'll say this many times in my review, and I'll say it again in this, it's a shame they're all sold individually. But if this was sold as a complete package, this would cost between 40 and 50 quid, if anything. So yeah, that is it for the stock and barrel attachment review for this video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all ever so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.